The CER framework consists of your claim, your evidence, and your reasoning, and they define the reasoning as a process of going from your evidence to your claim. ADI's CEJ framework consists of your claim, which is your answer to the guiding question. It consists of your evidence, which is now more than just your raw data, and it consists of your justification, which validates your method and procedures by listing the larger scientific concepts involved in the investigation. Evidence within the CEJ framework now consists of more than just your raw data. We define evidence as data, plus an analysis, plus an interpretation. For the analysis piece, students can often graphically represent their data, and the interpretation becomes a written explanation of what is happening in that graph. This one is taken from the book on CER and has students comparing fat and soap via five different physical and chemical properties. Students list all their data as part of their evidence, and they list their reasoning with a conclusion that because fat and soap have different properties, I know they are different. While nothing is incorrect about this argument, we want to show you how things are furthered by the addition of a justification. And here's ADI's CEJ framework. We see the original reasoning in red is now part of our evidence because this is what we call an interpretation or explaining what the analysis means. And take a look at the justification. Students are now tying in what they did to the bigger scientific principles and in this case recognizing that each substance has a unique set of physical and chemical properties. A good basic summary would be this slide, where in the CER framework, your evidence and reasoning is really combined into evidence in ADI's framework. We also add that justification to make sure students are aware of the bigger picture scientific principles that are involved with their lab. And while some people might think we're being just a little picky with our naming conventions, take a look at the first justification on this blood typing lab. The idea that blood type is inherited is one of those bigger scientific principles in play that allow this lab to even take place. Otherwise, it wouldn't make sense to even analyze the data that we had. This is something that is missing in the CER framework. When you support a claim with evidence, you're reasoning. When you choose which evidence to use, you're reasoning. When you tie in larger scientific principles to your evidence and your investigation, you're reasoning. Even coming up with a claim is reasoning. Your whole argument, therefore, is your reasoning. If we say, add your reasoning here, it just makes it confusing. Making your thinking visible through an argument is what scientists call reasoning. And in ADI, that includes your claim, your evidence, and your justification. I hope this video helped explain why we use the CEJ framework with our ADI investigations. As always, follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, and share out the great things that are happening in your classroom. I'm Adam with ADI, and thanks for watching.